Hello, Internet. You can call me Zedrius. This is gonna be a different video than my usual type of thing. Today I've got some 22 CCI Quiet. I'm gonna be loading this up in a couple of my magazines here. I've got uh, Mossberg. There's a lot of different names for it. I think throughout, I don't know, don't quote me, but the 30s until about the 60s, 1930 to about 1960s, somewhere during that time frame, they used to have what's called, the military edition was called the U.S. Trainer. And it was for the military during about, I don't know, a time that you could say was a big war. Might even have called it a world war. Maybe even World War II. These are the magazines for, I believe I have... I don't know, maybe the, the LSB or LS. And then I have the model, which is the military version trainer, but I got my civilian model out. And they made many of them. This is one of my magazines for it. I believe this is off an earlier model than the one that I have. This little notch here. Let me clean this off a bit. The little notch there. And that's so you can load shorts in it. It'll shoot both long rifle, long and short. This is what came with the rifle when I purchased it. And this one is long rifle only. I think it's a cool little piece of history and I happen to really like the rifle so this one's just a reproduction 10 rounder these two are sevens this is a 10 it doesn't work as well you have to kind of hold on to the magazine while you're manipulating the action, which with a bolt action, you could imagine it's kind of annoying. But if you're bench shooting, which you probably are if you're shooting bolt action, or you're hunkered down, you just gotta kinda hold on to the magazine as you work the action and it'll work, but it's not the best. Here's one of those rounds that I got, the CCI 22 Quiet. The trainer is rated for, seems to work better with low velocity. These things work very well in it. I don't know if I'm getting that very well. This one holds seven, that's six, seven, so that's one loaded. Bit difference in weight, but since it's 22, you don't really notice. And this one will take long rifle only. 
since there's no notch for it there. You could try sliding them in, the shorts, but they won't work. Three, four. This one, as in this video, I don't know. Five, I think that's six. Nope. That's seven. Now we can get ten into here. So one, two, and the reason I'm kind of doing this video today, three, is I have to talk a little bit about the creator. Now I'm not aggressive, <laughs> in your face, you need to believe, run you down if you don't. That ain't me. This is coming <laughs> just from the heart. What I've been seeing. That's 10. So we're loaded here. Now it's a really weird concept to think we were created. There's a higher being <laughs> that maybe there's a, a book out there or a group of people or however you want to look at it that might actually be right about that. And how would I know? Well, I can look at how things are today, what that book says, and see if any of it matches up. Well, there's <laughs> many, many factors you would clue in and say, well, what about the dinosaurs? They kind of prove that the earth is a lot older than this book says. How do you explain something like that? Well, I'm not going to get in the too much detail because I know we could be here all day and I'm I'm just not one to go into that much detail all in one sitting what I can tell you is this book makes a lot of bold claims claims some have died for saying are facts you don't see a lot of people dying saying they believe the sky is blue <laughs> and they'll die for that Maybe a better example is men can be women and vice versa. Clearly, <laughs> people will deny reality.
and if it means getting what they want they don't care you're not crazy to think men are men and women are women and everything else that goes down that road I'm not even gonna get into it right now my main point in this video was this book known as the Holy Bible has been translated and passed down for centuries it is our first recorded book the very first and that still holds true today what came first this book or the dinosaurs that's just a comparison going back to them what was found first what was being passed down first who was dying saying this book is true And this is from the heart. I, I don't have a piece of paper out in front of me. This ain't rehearsed. This is just one man looking at life around him and giving his take on it. Now I'm going to quote a lot of people. I've seen a lot of things in my life. But I know this is wrong. And many people know this book is the Holy Bible, but it's also the book of good and evil. One particular verse I wanted to get to. got it here in Genesis if you're not familiar with the Bible what is the book of Genesis it is the first book among many books in the Bible and it's the start Genesis was first written by we know him as Moses I'm sure you've heard of him <laughs> probably heard of Moses I'm not gonna read all of Genesis I'm I'm just taking out one verse addressing pretty big problem worldwide I don't know how bad it is outside but in the United States I couldn't believe that that would happen I haven't lived here my whole life I grew up thinking United States was a beacon for the world maybe not the light of the world but a powerful force fighting for it kind of amazing to have moved here and see what what really goes on <laughs> how much stuff is hidden covered up and you ask what is it all for well good and evil you want to end suffering this is what you need you need Jesus <laughs> but that's skipping way ahead way ahead <laughs> let's get back to what what I was talking about here there's a big difference between men and women men can't be women and women can't be men and there are only two there ain't any 
I don't even know. I don't want to know. It's gotten to a point where it's so confusing. So let me clarify things a little bit. In the beginning, there was two humans recorded as we know. Adam and Eve. I'm sure you've heard of that before. Even if you're not familiar with the Bible, you've probably heard of Adam and Eve. Well, long story short, there is also a tree made by the Creator, a tree of knowledge of good and evil. Adam and Eve weren't supposed to eat that apple and Eve was deceived and took the apple and not only ate but gave to Adam and he ate. We don't know in full detail exactly how it happened. That's just what we know. That's what's been passed down. And in other places throughout the Bible it's known God's running the show he wants to save as many people as he can we can't comprehend his power <laughs> what he does and what it all means We can understand a lot, but not everything. I could sit here for hours going on, but I'm going to go back. <laughs> just bear with me here. There's a lot to it. There's, there's just a little bit. When it comes to men and women, Adam and Eve, after eating that apple... It did what what the trees named after knowledge of good and evil after eating the apple they changed there was a consequence for that God changed things based on that eating the apple that they shouldn't have women were changed a bit differently and men were changed also after that incident Adam and Eve were sent into the world this is what God had to say about man this is Genesis 3 chapter 3 verse 22 then the Lord God said behold the man Adam the descendant of God himself which led humanity every person that sprang up after that is linked to Adam and Eve So the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us. So who is us? Is us Adam and Eve? No. Us is referring to God. Well, how can it be us when it's God? This is where a lot of people say people be crazy. Well, God is three, three entities. God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
That's what he means when he says us. So again, the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put out his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Meaning, it was stated man is like God now. Not entirely, but more so than the woman. If you go back, men were made in the image of God. And after the apple, men have the knowledge of good and evil. Not saying women don't either, but it is different from the gift of men. Men were made in the image of God and acquired good and evil like God. Women were made from man for man. That's why men don't understand why women like them <laughs> it's not for you to understand they're made for men everything about them Men like what you know men like about a woman. To name a few, long hair. <laughs> Beauty. A wide set of childbearing hips. And men... understand it either why would you like men man is what women like well what was a man it's hard to answer that in today's culture in the United States but if you want to know how to be a man and distinguish good and evil right here there's many of stories real life experiences distinguishing good and evil and how men and women should act and when they do you have peace of mind and a strong well-functioning society you can see quite clearly what happens when you turn from this says men are supposed to lead I can go on give you all sorts of examples on why that is and why it isn't why people would think otherwise there are many out there it's wrong 
Why is it wrong? Well, it doesn't work. You want to cure suffering? Have the answers? It's hard to believe. <laughs> it's here in just a book with some words. But this is it. Men have been bestowed upon powers that are just higher in certain ways. Can you see it for yourself? I'm not telling you to believe me. I'm asking you to be honest with yourself. And this is one line in Genesis and just my own thoughts on what's going on around us the further this country pushes him away women now think they can lead do you see men taking that seriously I could hammer that away for hours I don't even want it to be this long. That's all I got to say right now. You think about that. You don't gotta let me know. You think about that and you pursue what you need to find your answers. They're all right here. God bless.